animals in here, and they would keep literal lions and tigers on the property. Oh to my! Show for all the patrons and the guests that would come visit. They obviously don't have them anymore, and I'm pretty <laughs> sure that they were kept up here, and then downstairs was just like their storage and whatnot. So we are allowed to go down there. This is all locked up because this is just storage now for them. But you can just go ahead and go right on down there. Huh? Also, right, watch so your steps. It's dark and. Men go first to find that spider, and then go. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Or something just dropped on my head. Spider. <laughs> <Dog. laughs> you know what? That what? The greenhouse is next. Ah. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> what is it? Watch that last step. <laughs> it was like ah. Uh... So don't touch the walls. <laughs> Wait, where do you, what do you mean there he is? Where? Oh. Can't really see it, but found the spider. There he is. That's a nope. That's what that is. <laughs> Right there. I hope it doesn't jump. <laughs> a big nope. This is this well, is a I'm nope. Glad we found it before it found us. Yeah, yeah, we found it. That's These are all crates from back in like the house of babies, like trying to. Mm -hmm. Beef and gravy. Type two, not type one. <laughs> it fits pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> Oh God, why is there low ceilings? <laughs> <laughs> Elemental, you remember me from about 11 months ago. He was in here throwing rocks at Bruce, playing with cat balls, playing games with our K2 meter. Are you here still? I just done an SLS and saw you standing behind everybody as they were looking at the spider. <laughs> Can you repeat that? <laughs> you like playing games, don't you? Did you used to take care of the animals? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so you were a, a worker here, were you? Did you work here for a long time? Do you like to play jokes? Like pranks on us? Were you a member of the House of David? What? Maybe it's dark in here, turn off the lights. Yeah, turn off the lights, guys. Dark 30. No more of the spider who gets you. Respect your neighbor, don't play with our necks. <laughs> Is that better for you? Do you remember when I was here last year? 
I'm going to regret saying this on video, but you remember playing with Tommy's cat balls? Do <laughs> you remember when we locked you in here alone with John? Who's Morris? Remember I made jokes about John being our Aaron Goodwin? <laughs> right? Yeah. You scared the hell out of him, didn't you? How many big cats did they have in here at one time? Nine. Nine. You never want to hurt anybody, do you? You just like to play games. As a matter of fact, I don't even believe that you were a member of the House of David. If you're feeling so bold, could you please knock on one of the walls and one of the wooden things in this room? Can you make a noise for us down here, like you did when I was here last time? Can we make a lion sound? That'd be impressive. Do you like it here? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Are you of the woods? Of the spring? Are you the spirit of the native who's buried out here on the hillside? <laughs> Three different sets of two musical tones. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got to move on now. We still have two more places to go to. We'll see you later. You take care. We'll be around after a bit. Just Thank a few of us. Thank you for talking to us. And we'll go down here and show us out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the stuff's a little wonky. Yeah. And. Definitely watch the stairs, guys. Nobody get hurt doing this. <laughs> no hospital trips. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, there's more stairs. <laughs> We're almost done. Oh, thank you. I would have missed that. <laughs> I, I literally, the first time we came here, face planted all this. <laughs> See, like, that would probably have been me. <laughs> yep. I felt that way too good. But yeah, that's me. 100% clocks. <laughs> <laughs> 
like that. Alright, this is the last set of stairs. <laughs> Are there any hidden stairs? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, last one. We did it! Woohoo! Woo! We did it! There we go. Okay, you don't really got to worry much about spiders out here. It's more like the boa constrictors. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I was more worried about the spiders. <laughs> or, well, I'll tell you this after everybody gets here. <laughs> I don't want anybody to turn around and go. Right. Just nope. Never mind. <laughs> And um, this is where we did the, yeah, so I had headphones on and I was reading everything that the voices were coming through into the spirit box. And uh, we had a lot of things. Um, questions that you shouldn't know the answers to. If yeah. You hear so, the question. as you guys were told, a young lady um, drowned before they cemented this over. I kept hearing through the spirit box, help. Um, wave sounds like water sounds some splashing splashing i've heard a scream and then they heard a scream with their own eye and oh my <laughs> yes they heard it with my their own eyes, eyes. Heard it so well. <laughs> also one thing i want to mention is i don't know what was going on that night but around the oh, border like up there it sounded like someone was running around yeah around the border something was running around there's deer obviously out here but so we if you <laughs> we never saw any animals that was the thing and we didn't see any eyes nothing so just keep your ears open to any sounds because you never know what's going to happen out here. So. Yeah, if you hear something off in the distance that sounds weird, don't feel off, like be... Say something. Say, like, yeah, say like, vocal. Like, hey, did you guys hear that scream? Now, no, wait, what? <laughs> uh, as we were getting ready to enter the concrete pad, guys, and I got I to gotta explain this, you know, we got our little up. Uh, but, okay. you know, I was joking about the bull constrictors. There's no bull constrictors, obviously. They don't like concrete. <laughs> but Debbie, who ushered you guys in tonight, told, uh, done all the explaining up at the depot, when she was working back here one day last summer, you guys will, will spot directly over here. You see that bridge? Yeah. There's a trail right behind that row of weeds that goes up and under that bridge. She was walking onto this concrete pad and she saw something dark come out of the underneath the trestle stand right in the middle of the trail on all fours she said it looked like a bear but it did not look like a bear it did not have the face of a bear Ooh. it turned around looked straight at her hunched its back and walked right back over and up the hill and disappeared hmm. Hmm. has anybody heard of skinwalkers mm -hmm. yep. Yep. Windigos? Yep. yep well it's pretty well known that when you hear voices Sorry, Could I did not mean to just blow you. To <laughs> Sorry. It's pretty well known that they'll mimic human voices to lure people in. And then when so you, you see them, So if you hear your name be called, then it's none of us. Please don't leave. Yeah, Please don't leave. It would make sense on why we're hearing disembodied voices if she saw that as well. Now, you also have to realize, too, that not only do you have skinwalkers, but you've got shapeshifters. And the shapeshifters and the Wendigo, I'm sure some of you have heard of the Wendigo. Yeah. Yep is a Great Lakes legend. Yes. It was notorious in this area with the native tribes. A Wendigo, does, depending upon what tribe you talk to, some of it's nine feet tall with a furry body and a skeleton for a deer skeleton for a head with a great big huge rack on it. Some of them, it's just a hairy something that travels around. Or a corrupted like shaman that was part of their tribe and decided to take the black magic route. <laughs> so, because right directly back this way is where the native remains were found, there's a good possibility that the Potawatomi that lived here 500 years ago had their village right in this valley. The bodies that were found by the original people who settled this commune what they had probably done, which is normal in a valley situation, is they would bury their dead on the hillside so they were always close by camp. They could still hear their words, they could still hear their stories, they could still hear everything, and as corrosion took 
place over two or three hundred years, it slowly washed the ground away and washed the bodies free and they fell down onto the trail. So like I said before though, this was a pond. It was about 12 foot deep at its deepest point. This whole concrete area back over that trestle was all water. And it was one of those, you know, 1920s little romantic things where the guy's out there paddling the boat and the girl's sitting with her little umbrella up in the front. And I'm cheesy. <laughs> and anyway, something happened. She fell out of the boat and drowned. Now, when we were out here that night, as, as Jenna was saying earlier, she was doing the Estes method and she was getting splashy, or we were getting splashing sounds on my voice recorder. Whenever they would hear a scream, I would get a bullfrog ribbit. Does anybody have any headphones with them by chance? Yes, I do actually. On you? Clutch. They're in the car, but the car's right there. Do you want her to go get them and we can do it? Nah, not no, unless somebody with a bright light's got to go with her. Kyle? Yeah, well, where's that <laughs> Magnum guy? Where's the, ma the Magnum light guy? Magnum is a common guy. <laughs> 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 well, send the Magnum guy with her. Mag light! <laughs> Actually, actually, they could go right out here where we came in at, make a loop and go right up that dirt trail that everybody did follow down when we were looking for Danny and them earlier. Well, my car's over there by the lions. Oh, yeah. The, yeah, yeah okay. Don't worry about it. But, you know, it's just, it's, the weird thing about it, in case you didn't know, we, I have a YouTube channel called Living History's Mysteries. They have What Goes Bump in the Night podcast. Um, Randy and Tommy, they're up here, has got Randy's Real Paranormal, Tommy Amongst the Tombstones. We all, none of us are Zach Baggins, okay, Dan? <laughs> well, that's a good thing. None of us are Jason <laughs> Dawes. Look as good as him. You know, I, I believe it differs. <laughs> I think a lot of us aspire where about 60% of those shows are scripted. Mm -hmm. And Danny and I have actually had a guest on, on the Unrestricted Paranormal podcast that's worked in Hollywood on some of those shows. Mm -hmm. And he has confirmed that a lot of that <gasps> is all in a script. Mm -hmm. Somebody's back here doing this and Aaron's pooping on himself and <laughs> in the chair. It, it, a lot of what they see, a lot of, a lot of the evidence you see on there is real, but their reaction so like when you watch our videos of our investigations, we're like, oh shit, is that something? We didn't scream, we didn't tinkle on ourselves, we didn't take off running, it's like, oh shit. <laughs> what did they yeah. just say? Neat. I or heard a scream, see. I heard it with my ears. I heard you'll see us tripping over shit going, oops. Oops. <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> yeah. But you guys, you've got this big concrete area here. If you want to go off, of, if you're couples, if you're by yourself, whatever, find a, find a friend. Just kind of wander this concrete area and just listen with your heart, listen with your ears, watch with your eyes. That the slightest shadow, the slightest peep or squeak could be something. Mm -hmm. If you hear something, definitely yell for it. One of us will come to you and we'll give you an idea. Now, those of you that don't have equipment and want to mess around with them, I've got plenty. I was going to say, do you want to just put it down somewhere? Just put it down right here. Set this right next to it. Yeah, right next to it there. Yeah, I'll hand you this. Okay. Sit down. Is there anyone here with us? Mm, that's super dark. <laughs> oh. Maybe we should be super dark. Oh. If there's anything here with us, can you move towards our meters? We're here with full respect. We open up communication. We 
We heard that a girl drowned here. If that's you, can you move towards our equipment? Touch the antenna? Maybe set off our meter there? Is your name Micah? Was that you just now? If that was you, go ahead and touch the antenna again. Just all you have to do is just go over and touch the antenna. Stick all you have to there. do is do that. Yeah. Just like that. Or if you want to light the device I have up in my hand do that as well. Are you in this area somewhere? Oh. Was that you just now? A little bit. It keeps going on and off. Did you die from being sick? What did that would have been in the 1700s? Tuberculosis? The Spanish um, flu? God, it could have been anything in the 1700s. Ooh, okay. I don't know my history. <laughs> Thank you. 
It would explain the coughing. The spirit that we're talking to right here. Oh. You said 1700s. You said six. Something just pushed it against my leg. Like it indented my shoulder. Something pushed the camera into your leg? Pushed my lanyard. Oh, pushed your lanyard? Like imprinted it into my shoulder. Did you die from being sick? Was it consumption? Uh-huh. It was consumption, tuberculosis. What was important? What was it for? Any wrong, oh. any wrong was enforced. She had enough, yeah. Are we still talking to Micah that drowned here? Yes. Bad. I wonder if it's using What it was for... bad? What did Micah do that was bad? What caused her to be enforced? That's what I thought it said. Impressive. Yeah. What are you on? I have the spirit talker. Ah. <laughs> Hold up. I had to buy it. No, you... <laughs> I'm not buying it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know the people that made it. Arthur. Arthur? Who's, Ar who's Arthur? Arthur Stewart. Is that who we talked to last time? I think so. I think so too. That name sounds really familiar. Do you remember my name? If it says my name, I'm probably going to shit myself. Or if it says Ginger. <laughs> that too. How do you Do you remember the redhead's name? Redhead. The fuck does that mean? Now we're back to the weird words again. Wait, what did he say? You tell me what that says. So, I have a theory that what if that's Native American? Like, that's it's a word. Were, that's what we were saying too. Not to like. Because but every time we look it up. I've tried to look it up and it doesn't even give me what language it is. It just tells me what it means. Or it doesn't even show up in Did you Google. Touch my hair? Mm -hmm. Don't do that. I never heard that word. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I gotta say. That. That's interesting. Oh, oh. You're getting spikes. I'm getting spikes. Uh, for a second there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. 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 Hey Drew, it's doing it again! <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> Is this going on? Yeah. Okay. Oh, right here. 
just like make sure you're not. Safe. Why did you say Satan? We're getting we know spiked. Satan's not here. It's like. Was first what? It's like I was pre off. Yeah. Pre I know what pre off is. No, because like I'm saying over it right now. I know what pee off nothing. is. Yeah. 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 Huh. Wait. Well, instead of putting that thing in the chair, maybe you can put the fanny in it for a minute. We have people here that want to learn about you, want to learn about this land, want to learn about its history. Why do you want to throw Satan up? Are you pulling power from the moon? A strawberry moon. Can you tap on one of these? Or throw a rock, not at somebody, but throw a rock. City control animals, maybe ask me to make the cricket stuff. Who are you? We. We? Who are we? We. It said we don't know. Have you lost yourself? Do you not remember anything? Woman. What woman? That's the woman.